The Public Accounts Committee is urging some ministries and public agencies to address recurring lapses which were flagged in the Auditor General's report for financial year 2018 and 2019. Now, these lapses in IT controls, procurement and contract management, and in managing social grant programs were also raised in previous years. Geraldine Yap with more. In its latest report, the Public Accounts Committee says it is concerned with the repeated audit observations on weaknesses in IT controls across several public agencies. These include ministries like Defence, Education and Finance. At MINDEF, access was granted to its IT vendor staff to read personnel and payroll information. This included access to 73 types of information which required controlled access. There was also no review of the log records of access by the IT vendor staff to the information. In response, MINDEF says since July, it has assigned access rights to its IT vendor staff based on job scope. And since last May, it has conducted weekly log reviews of access by vendor staff. Based on its checks on past access since 2014, there was no unauthorized or excessive access. To address these weaknesses, the committee says centralized systems to automate IT tasks and reduce human errors will be implemented by the Smart Nation and Digital Government Group. This will help ensure a higher level of security across the board, according to one expert. When you centralize into one resource, you invariably will have more money, more know-how and uh, more um, resources to build a bigger and better system to serve all the departments across the board rather than imagine 10 different departments trying to build their own individually with smaller budgets and smaller experiences and smaller know-how. Lapses were also flagged in procurement and contract management and in managing social grant programs. For example, the National Gallery Singapore granted waivers of contractual provisions without due scrutiny from the Culture, Community and Youth Ministry. This had financial implications of $13 million. MCTY admits that its overseeing of National Gallery Singapore can be improved and there were lapses in documenting the waivers. The ministry adds that there was no fraud, but the committee says this should not be taken for granted. The Finance Ministry is strengthening procurement and contract management across the public sector. It's conducting training and implementing procurement sandboxes where agencies can try different approaches that better suit their needs. The Ministry has also appointed specialist agencies to provide advice and help.